Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower, the premier supplier of power system components for worldwide markets, we're kicking turtles, amplifying our senses, and destroying UAVs with lasers. <laughs> When the Gombach was discovered in 2007 by a pair of Hungarian scientists, it solved a long-standing mystery. Well, not exactly a mystery, more like a disbelief in its entire existence. Heavy. The Gombach is a convex, three-dimensional homogeneous body which, when resting on a flat surface, has one stable and one unstable point of equilibrium. If you put a Gombach down on a flat surface, resting on its stable equilibrium point, it will stay in the same position. You can kick the thing and it will come back to its resting position at a stable equilibrium point. But if it is put down at a non-equilibrium point, it will systematically roll around until it has reached the stable equilibrium position. It's self-writing. Taking their discovery into the world of natural science, the scientists conducted an extensive study of tortoises using complex three-dimensional models of the shell. Leave those turtles alone! Created in Maple, the mathematical computation engine is from MapleSoft. Using these models, they discovered that 1% of turtles had gombok-shaped shells, giving them a unique evolutionary advantage in that they had the ability to self-write, a classic example of evolution finding the optimal shape for survival. I don't know what all the fuss is about. If you want an evolutionary advantage, the secret is in the ooze. So, how big of a deal is 3D printing? Big deal, Chris! That's right. It's such a big deal that the markets between consumer and professional are quickly beginning to blur. Even the unique electronics distributor, Salig, has taken to selling 3D printers, like this one from Afenia. What's really intriguing is Salig's investment in 3D printing, as their interest started with CEO Alan Lohn back when he worked for Kodak. Now, with his own company, Lohn has taken to the distribution of a couple of 3D printers, of which the Afenia seems to be the most popular. This new printer has a heavy-duty, industrial designed appearance, and its resolution can match that of most FDM printers with an accuracy within 15 hundredths of a millimeter. Its simple setup allowed us to create this, and this, and this. Bromo. Students at the Royal College of Arts in London have developed a pair of concept pieces that allows wearers to fine-tune their senses of sight and hearing, Eidos Vision and Eidos Audio. The system uses sensors and computer processing to select sensory input and alter it for applications in sports, the arts, and medicine in real time. They aren't meant to merely amplify the senses, but to enhance them and introduce the factor of selection. Eidos Vision allows the wearer to see moving objects as a series of overlapping images moving across the scene, meaning that the viewer doesn't just see things moving, but also trends and patterns of motion. This particular device could be used in sports to allow trainers to analyze performance in real time and by spectators to enhance their experience. It could also be used to add a new dimension to pursuits such as fashion and ballet. Eidos Audio consists of two directional microphones hooked to a computer that feeds into two earpieces and a transducer in the mouth for bone conduction, meaning that the wearer not only hears through the ears, but also picks up the sound through the teeth and jaw bones directly in the inner ear so you can hear people talking inside your head. This device might be used for listeners at concerts to focus on one instrument or singer while muting the rest. Even though I think these two concepts are really cool, I'm going to have to object to the designs. The glasses seem more suitable for Flavor Flav, and come on, that mask is way too reminiscent of Hannibal. Lockheed Martin has developed the ATOM system, or an Area Defense Anti-Munitions System. This system is designed to destroy close-in, improvised rocket and unmanned aerial threats with a laser. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. This system is able to track targets at a range of more than 5 kilometers and destroy those targets at a range of up to 2 kilometers. This transportable apparatus is self-contained to conduct the full engagement sequences against rockets and accepts an initial external radar cue to engage unmanned aircraft. 
Lockheed Martin based the system on commercial hardware paired with the corporation's beam-controlled architecture and software to provide the performance needed for these types of threats. When the Atom system detects a threat, within seconds it locks on the target and establishes an aim point. When the system declares a valid aim point, it fires a laser on the target long enough to negate it. By negate, they mean blow it up. The Atom system has been under testing since 2012. But if you ask me, it certainly seems ready for action. I'm looking at you, Kim Jong-il. North Korea's got nothing on Adam. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.